Alrighty. Haven't flown out of here in years. At least it feels that way. Try not to get any of that grass in the wind. And uh, bobbled a couple times there, but we're up. Out here in Dresden, Ohio, at the Graham Field. And it is a scorcher. I should have had my uh, should have had my shorts on today. Leave it up. Point looks good. There's a big fish down there. Doing about 30 miles an hour with the wind. It's a light wind. And so far it's uh, pretty smooth about uh, 6.43, so uh, it is a butter out, buttery hour, but uh, we're getting close. We're going to fly with the wind, and then the wind is supposed to shift, and we will either come back with the wind or to the side of us, but either way, our destination isn't that far. Way up ahead, and I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera or not, is a couple stacks, big uh, smoke stacks from Conesville plant. There were two more that were huge, real tall, and they uh, blew those up and knocked them down. They left those two, and I'm not sure why, but uh, we're going to head over there. It looks like a bomb hit the place. It's uh, pretty well torn up, and we're going to head over there and fly maybe between the stacks. We'll see. Now there's a lot of power lines over here, so we're going to have to kind of pick and choose our way through here. I think I'll go from the left side. Over by those cones are a bunch of birds just circling. They look like vultures just circling those cones. So, uh, probably will not go between them. With Get a little bouncy over here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see all the buzzards flying around these cones here, but there's plenty of them. scrapping all this steel down here so they're separating it. Yeah, a little bouncy here. They used a lot of coal over here to, to burn, to, to make electricity. And they're moving that coal from here to different places that are still using it. We used to use cinders to uh, put on the roads when it snowed, 
but I'm not sure where we're going to get our cinders from. This looks like a cinder pile over here, actually. And they're out uh, take, taking these loads and make it reclaiming a lot of property that they uh, took down to get the coal. So as dark as this is, it looks like uh, cinder piles. This whole place is all entirely fenced off, so if we uh, go down in this area, we're going to have to jump a fence probably. Fly over this too long, we might get black lung disease. Also, the roads over here are being used for a detour for the main uh, road 16. So it's been cut off for a while, but you know, a back way. And this was my back way back over here. 88 feet, 28 miles an hour. Oh, this was a big sump pit. It's probably full of water at one time, and all this coal dust went in it. Now they've got to clean it all out. So there's plenty of cinders over here. about 92 feet. Probably have the FBI out here after us. Off to the right, we'll head over there, is the ethanol plant, where they take corn to, and they make ethanol. And it blew up about a month ago. And they're working on it to get it back up and running. 